up everybody welcome back to the channel today I'm gonna to be doing a video on the ruckus I'm gonna be doing a walk around um, going over some of the parts I got and changed and things like that I haven't done one of these in probably a year so let's just jump right into it um, I'm gonna start in the back because I got a couple questions about my setup so let me go over that first first thing we're gonna go over is the stretch it's a mojo customs um, ten and a half, ten or a ten and a half, whatever the uh, whatever the middle setting is. That's what I'm running. So Mojo Custom Stretch, twelve by eight, machine machine, rear wheel, two piece, uh, Michelin Power, yeah, Michelin Power tire, one forty seventy. Um, it just barely clears. Uh, you probably, you guys probably can't even see it. But it just clears the dipstick. But I had to shave it. So that's that. Then we got the hot lap exhaust. We got the carbon um, YZ, YZ10, YZ10 or YT10 rear fender with the uh, slits in it. That's on a custom bracket from a guy from Facebook. Um. Got the clear tail light. Uh, with the blinkers, I got front blinkers on the back, so they're a little smaller. Uh, what else? Got the NCY low down shock. Machine machine, not machine machines, uh, TRS license plate frame with some, uh, some kind of LEDs from Amazon. Let me show you guys the tail light and the, uh, what the LEDs look like. These things work great at night. They were like 10 bucks. And the tail light actually blinks. So that's a great safety feature. And the bulb, it's from, it's just a standard old LED bulb from Amazon. It goes right in. These were like 10 bucks, something like that. Strobe blinking, 1157 is the bulb size if anybody wants to know. So let's keep on moving on. Um, I got a carbon radiator cover from Lightspeed Carbon. That thing's pretty sweet. Then we got TRS um, ankle biter. And just some cheap, low-budget dress of hardware that I painted myself. Got the Mojo Customs kickstand. Got the Ronk Solid Carbon Velocity Stack with the silicone intake tube. Keeps the, gets the airflow going in there, you know, real smooth. Then we got the VTEC. Valve cover, TRS, setbacks, FLP, foot pegs, and so got some FLP dress up hardware there. This is man in the box. It came with the uh, man in the box dwarf seat frame, cheeky seats, seat cover, light speed carbon, um, rear. Rear deck, I guess you would call that. And then man in the box jock strap, NCY tank cover, man in the box, man in the box, machine machine gas cap, um, TRS stiffler bar with risers so you can have the these uh finished pieces on. What else do we have to go over? Let's just do the front since we're here. Zen Customs Bar, um, Trail Tech Vapor, brand mount cell phone holder. This thing is solid. You'll never lose your phone if you have one of these. Then I got the NCY bearing throttle, factory controls on both sides. You just shave them. You can see back there. You just shave the controls. 
So that'll save you some money when you're doing your build and then you can always go back and do it later. Adeline brake levers. This lever has the um, brake switch on it. So both levers control the brakes, brake light. It's just cheap bar and mirror. I wanna get a new bar and mirror. Uh, password JDM. Key thing. And then this is from TRS, real carbon fiber. Key guard. Let's go around to the front. We got the um, TRS headlight lowering kit, some more FLP hardware. The horn I'm going to eventually put in the box when I get a new one, when I get around to it. Then I got some LEDs from Amazon. I don't think it says what kind they are, but these things are great. They got little fans on them and everything. No ballast, but they're pretty bright for having no ballast. Obviously, cut the rabbit ears off, move the blinkers down. Headlight film that I sell. I'll leave the link in the description to that. So if you guys are interested in getting a headlight film, I actually do sell those. And we got the, uh, oh, let me go to the other side. Adeline disc brake caliper. I think this is an RPM rotor. Then some, just some cheap Chinese. Uh, I forget what those things are called. Bearing cups? No, not bearing cups. Axle cups? Something like that. Axle cups, I think they are. I do have a carbon front fender that's in my basement that I have to put on. But I'm being a little lazy because you got to take all this stuff apart. Then I'm uh, machine, machine wheels up in the front. 110, 70, 12 tire. So it's not really a stretch, it's a tiny, tiny stretch. But again, these are two piece wheels. And we got the little valve stem covers. All this stuff that was black now, I had that red before. Anybody who's been following my channel knows that. Some more FLP hardware and then some little uh, battery backs, battery, botter, bo battery, battery box screws. Um. What else? Hot lap exhaust, I think I said that already. And that's about, that's about it. Am I missing anything? I don't think I'm missing anything. So yeah, that's my build. It's been going on for, I don't know, about a little over a year now. These were red before. No, they're all black, I'm changing everything to black. I'm gonna change these stickers to black. These I'm probably gonna paint black. These are gonna be white. Everything's getting changed around little by little. But yeah, I mean, I still got a lot of stuff to do. I got the fender. I still got the carbon fiber fender to put on. I got the Metro fuel sending unit for whenever the gauges, the uh, stage six gauges come back in stock. I mean, I got radiator hoses. I got a coil. I got a front frame cover. I got a couple of these things, the NCY dry face i didn't have good luck with them but i might try it again i do have a couple of those there's probably some more little bits and pieces in my box and then i got some more stuff over here in that box i got belts um i think my other ncy dry face is in there and there might be a couple of odds and ends in there but yeah i mean that's my build in a nutshell a lot of carbon fiber on it a lot of time in this thing but if you guys have any questions, feel free, please drop a question, drop a comment down below, I'll answer your questions. Um, if, I, if I saw something, if you guys see something that I missed, please feel free to drop a comment. I'll uh, let you know what I missed, go over it with you. And then uh, I wanna thank all my subscribers. You know, you guys are great. Appreciate everybody's support in this and stay tuned for the next video. Peace.